club Libby Lou was an experience-based retailer for young girls that opened in 2000 and closed in 2009. Thank you for your suggestion. You can be like Hannah Montana with the new On Tour makeover at Club Libby Lou. Perform with your bling and sequin tank, microphone, and more. You can invite your friends to the hottest ticket in town, you. Club Libby Lou. Club Libby Lou's tour shop is full of cool Hannah Montana stuff. You can stop in a Club Libby Lou today and get your free Hannah Montana karaoke CD. For a limited time only while supplies last. Club Libby Lou. Club Libby Lou was opened in 2000 by Mary Drollett and her two partners in a suburban Chicago mall. Mary Drollett was driving her daughter to yet another of her friend's birthday parties when she had her eureka moment and an idea for an interactive combination playroom and retail store where young girls could play princess, make their own bath gel, buy glitter-covered clothes, and of course, throw birthday parties. She had a strong desire to start her own retail business, using her more than 20 years of experience with Montgomery Wards and Claire's store. In 2000, she founded Club Libby Lou, named for her childhood imaginary friend. The success of the new company happened pretty quickly. If you grew up anywhere near the mall between 2000 and 2009 and you were a girl, you probably went to a birthday party at Club Libby Lou. Girls were referred to by Club Libby Lou employees as princesses. There, children could go to nurture their inner divas by getting makeovers, hairdos, and crafting shimmery potions. For $25 to $60, depending on the level of makeover you were getting, club counselors painted your nails, did your hair, applied body glitter, and when the makeover was done, you could strut your stuff down Club Libby Lou's bright, flashy runway in a feather boa to Hannah Montana and Ashley Tisdale tunes. On your way out, you could shop Club Libby Lou's gift shop and buy yourself swag like pop albums and stuffed chihuahuas, just like Paris Hilton's. The chain's aesthetic look was a peak of Y2K glam heart-shaped mirrors, sparkly silver stars, a stage, and an explosion of hot pink and lavender made girls feel like stars. Just three years after opening the first store, Drollette was again a corporate employee. Sachs bought the company from Drollette and her partners for $12 million and left her in charge. Thanks. At the time of the acquisition, Club Libby Lou had 11 stores. 50 locations were opened in 2004. With a bit of advertising by 2005, revenues were about $46 million, a 53% increase over 2004. By 2006, the chain had 87 locations. At its peak, Club Libby Lou had 98 locations spread across the United States. There were also kiosks inside Saks owned department stores. The company had $30 million in sales in 2006. The company did receive some controversy in December of 2007 when a mother from Garland, Texas made her six year old daughter write a fake essay about her father as part of a contest held by the company where the winner would receive a grand prize of four tickets to a Hannah Montana concert. In the essay, the mother explained that her husband died in Iraq via a roadside bomb while serving in the army, while her daughter was getting a makeover in preparation for the concert at the Club Libby Lou store in Garland, a local news reporter went to the store as part of an investigation for the station. The reporter informed the mother that there was no man by that name who had ever served in the military or died in Iraq. After the story surfaced and gained national attention, the mother and her daughter were disqualified and the tickets were awarded to another winner. Though Club Libby Lou was very popular, it also had its share of detractors. 
Some parents found it shallow and materialistic, claiming that its focus on appearances was harmful to young girls. In 2008, Saks announced that it would be closing all 98 Club Libby Lou locations. The chain had been struggling to be profitable for years, and the economic recession in 2008 forced execs to finally shut it down. Around 1,700 employees lost their job as a result of the shutdown. So what are your favorite memories of this place? Leave a comment or a suggestion for a future video below. Thanks for watching.